All right, Zach, so growing up, I got to ask you, who were some of your favorite players? Oh, man. So I grew up in Atlanta, so I had to be, you know, Chipper and uh, that whole starting staff, Maddox, Smoltz, Glavin, so um, probably those guys. Okay, okay, so I do this question called Baseball Mount Rushmore. All right. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot like I do everybody. So okay. you got to have one catcher, one infielder, one outfielder, one pitcher for your Mount Rushmore. And I know it's on the spot, and it can change at any time. But who will be your all-time catcher for your Mount Rushmore? All-time catcher? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Pudge? Kind of like that. I don't know. I, I like somebody who can hose people. I know he had a he had a cannon, so okay. probably go with him. Okay. Let's do outfielder. All right. Um, outfielder. Man. Um, I'll go with Harp. I don't know, Hart. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, two time MVP, why now, yeah. right? And then by the end of his career, I'm sure he's going to have a couple more, so I'll go with him. Okay, infielder. Infielder. Uh, so, in context, I'm going to tell you this right now. I've asked probably 200 MLB players, and there has been one unanimous name outside of maybe three people, yeah. but it's been Derek Jeter for unanimous. Yeah, I can see that for sure. But let's see if you change. Maybe Ozzy Smith. I like that. Yeah. All right, and pitcher. Pitcher. Probably Sandy Koufax. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so I got to ask you this. Not for sure if you play video games, but MLB The Show. The first time you saw yourself on a video game, what did you think? So I don't play that many video games, but I have seen a couple buddies play with me. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty surreal, I guess you could say. You know, just growing up, playing video games, um, I never thought I would be on one. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty awesome. I like that, I like that. So what would you say is your first baseball moment when you realize, man, I'm actually here in the show, I'm actually here in the majors? Honestly, probably my de- my debut, just because it was in Atlanta. That's where I'm from, and uh, you know we had Harvey go in the first game, and then me the second game of a doubleheader that same day. So it was really built up, and especially being in New York, you know they really blew it up. So, so obviously in baseball, the one thing is the game is getting younger with some of the younger players. But then you get these rare anomalies, like obviously Bryce Trout. You, I mean, I'm sorry, Bryce Harper. Yeah. You got Mike Trout. But then there's a guy now and show you Tony who can also pitch and hit. When you see something like that, what do you think about that? It's impressive, just because I know how much goes into just pitching, and I know how much goes into just hitting because I sit here and watch these guys hit the cages all day and just go about the routine. So doing double is uh, pretty impressive. I mean, it's, it's a big commitment. It's a lot on your body, and um, you know, for him to be one of the best at both, it's, it's really impressive. All right, two more questions. So. Walk-up song. Let's say if you had your own walk-up song, it's named after you. Yeah. And you can pick any artist or multiple artists to do the song. Who would you want to do the song? Probably T.I. I like that. From okay. Atlanta. Atlanta? Uh, I guess we pumped up a little bit. So probably him. I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right, last question. Let's talk about the Phillies. You know, you guys now are starting to get things going. What do you see for the potential of this team in uh, what you consider a very good NL East right now? Yeah, um, NL East is stacked. Uh, you know, even the lesser teams, you know, the Marlins are – really good also um i don't know i mean you know we kind of expected what we're doing now at the beginning of the season coming out of spring training we knew the hitters that we added to our already lineup and uh you know our starting staff is i think one of the best in the big leagues um you know it's kind of just putting everything together right now and that's how we felt coming out of spring training that we should be so it's, it's fun and it's good to see well zach keep doing your thing and by the way everybody be sure to vote this guy into the all-star game zach appreciate you brother appreciate it thank you It's easy.